kickstart your road to better health with the Hard Work Works Fitness app. The Hard Work Works Fitness app works for all ability levels. Full gym, no gym, no problem. What's included? You get over 200 workout plans available for every situation from a full gym to no equipment at all. You also get a nutrition guide to keep you on track. All this for only $10 a month. There's a special offer for Gear Freaks listeners, so don't be stupid. Use promo code STUPID. That ain't stupid. And get your first month free. The Hard Work Works Fitness app. Decide, commit, succeed, and join the hustle today. Boom. Darling, be a woman who deals with business and not with drama. <laughs> that's, I don't know who, that's just a random quote I pulled up on the internet. Random forgot, internet quote. Forgot to pull one up. This is Justin, Jersey number 14. And I'm Corey, Jersey number 72. Another special, special episode of the Gear Freaks pod. You have heard us talk here before. One of the sentimental favorites uh, of, of the pod from your host would be the Sweater Day episode. And here we are couple months later we're putting together kind of our our next little batch of what we're going to get uh the wonder what the the happy part is that some new links came out Mm -hmm. you know a lot of a lot of stuff's happened in the gear world since we put the other order in the reverse retros and the nhl you got the nba city editions and uh they made the list at least some of them did at least some of them yeah some of them did there's still a couple we're waiting because they update them yeah. So it's like, okay, we'll wait. It, you know, we were talking about this work. They're like, eh, I'll kind of wait a couple weeks and see what else goes up there, give people time to get their money deal straight, yeah. yada, yada, tax season. Mm-hmm. And then we'll go from there and start putting this thing in because we got to get the 20. Yes. Which I'll say this if the taxes hit, because the wife and I have already filed, if the taxes hit and we get stimulated again, your boy might get us halfway to 20. <laughs> Because I keep, I have this weird obsession in this tick of just going through, because I have the link saved on my phone where we go and we look at these. Mm-hmm. And, you know, during the Super Bowl, they completely sucked. Oh, yeah, man, like, this, this blows. Let me find something else. Ooh, I can look at jerseys. I knew we were going to record this episode. Yeah. I was like, okay, let me see if I if, if I'd left anything off. And I had trimmed it down to a certain amount that we had agreed upon. And I've now since exceeded that number again because I just, <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm like a drug addict. So now there's just a lot, you know, your camera roll is just Jersey screen grabs. That's right. (laughs) You know? That's right. That's all it is. That's right. I've got 20 right now. I'm right about there. What's funny is initially this was going to be like, uh, when we first talked about it, it was right after Hashtag WrestlePals, we did the Rumble deprogrammed. Yeah. And we were thinking about doing that here. Yep. And you were feeling under the weather last week and then it kind of got lost in the in the week and then it's right. like okay well here's something comparable right uh we tried to pull it together last minute didn't happen whatever uh i i could go on and grab another 10 probably oh, with ease easily dude easily <laughs> i mean like it's it's ridiculous this site uh, there's probably five that i like want yes <laughs> like it, it it borders want and goes to need mm-hmm you know, and it was funny because I felt I felt happy when I I realized when I I took my initial pass through because I had I had I had grabbed some Phoenix ones for you just in case you didn't stumble across them, <laughs> and I ended up sending them to you. And we were putting the list together and everything, and I was like, "Ooh, okay." I delete these couple; it gets me down to this amount. <laughs> and then I went, "Oh man, it didn't really fucking help." Like, <laughs> you know, and I because I I just like going through initially, you just get sc- like thumb happy. You grab everything, mm-hmm. you know, and then there's some when you look back through and you go, "Why did yeah. I really?" I was just excited, right? Like, was I really going to get a Ricky Jackson Saints jersey? <laughs> Probably not. I hate the fucking Saints. Yeah, that ain't happening. You know, but like, I guess in the moment I thought, "Ooh, maybe," <laughs> and then I found 37 other ones that just bumped <laughs> that one off the list, and here we are. So yeah, man, there so, is there's so much here. Yeah. So what we decided to do is 
I'm at 20, and we each, if you're in the Discord and you're listening to this, which no one is listening live, but uh, if you're in the Discord, we've dumped just five yep. that do not make the cut. They were, it's like, cool, you were here, uh, you are you made it so far, but uh, not quite close <laughs> enough. And what we decided we're going to do is we're going to do our top five, Yep. and depending on how long we run, because... Corey and I can talk. It can be a while, right? <laughs> if if there, if we blast through those five, we'll do another five, and then we'll dump whatever five remaining. Right. So real quickly, I see you went Mariners Griffey here, old school M's. <sighs> What's funny is, in side note, as we're looking at this, I'm not sure I'm completely ruling some of these out because <laughs> I just realized that one's on there, and uh-huh. I'm like, oh man, I have the hat. Like that would look so cool. So. You know, again, as Justin said, these are in the Discord, and the benefit of this is you can hop in the Discord at any time and go back and see the ones we post and, you know, look at them as you're listening to this episode. But Today I started is February off February the 8th. Yes. yes. Just in case you want to scroll back. So scroll back to uh, the evening of that day, and you will see just, just jersey dumps and, and happiness everywhere. Uh, I went with the old school. My brother in law actually sent this one. Um, the Griffey, and I did not see this one myself, but I dug it a lot. It's the old school, old or, school, old school, like ori- you, yeah, yeah, original Ted Bundy Mariners, yeah. you know. And I didn't even think that Griffey was playing with this. Might be a Ken Griffey Senior. Now that I think about it, I don't know if they both wore twenty four, but I took it to be like a throwback style of Griffey Junior. And I loved me some Griffey Junior. Who didn't? Yeah, seriously. So, like Ju- Junior was like one of the greatest ball players. Oh, of all. Dude. If he didn't get hurt, he would easily be the best yes, ball player of all time the kid he everybody man like around our age that grew up in the generation of baseball we did was like yo that that dude's awesome was the shit the backwards hat man like it was amazing yeah. so i had to i had to i had another griffey that i actually still have in my camera roll but i opted for this one just as a tiebreaker because i thought it looked cool and i like the ted bundy mariners uh i think he may have been a rook in these I That's think. what I meant to go back and look at the timeline, man, because I do think he played when they had the royal blue in there. The more royal blue, I should say, because it's not Kansas City royal blue, but it's close yeah. before they went to the teal. And then I had to go uh, Brown, new San Diego Padres, Tatis Jr. Nice. Had to. Nice. I got the hat. I love the gear. Uh, that one's definitely in the conversation for you, boy. Love the Royals as well. The light blue Whit Merrifield. I like that guy. Utility dude. Um, it, it's just a, it's just a cool, a cool looking, the, the Royals have great gear. You had them in your top five. That's right. Yeah. And, and this is another one for me. Like I have the hat. So it would be like, okay, I can pair it with the hat that I've already got. And it's a win. Yep. Uh, Ricky Henderson for the Oakland A's. One of my favorite ball players of all time. Love the A's gear. I kind of wish instead of it being that forest green, that it was more of the Kelly green. I think yeah. the Kelly green Oakland A's is fucking Mount Rushmore MLB wise, but it's, yeah. it's the. You know, it's the Forest Greens. It is what it is. The A's still have cool gear. You love Ricky Henderson. And uh, my fifth and final is, and I'm, I'm not going to do this. At least I wouldn't think. Um, and I had this high in my top five as well, the Vancouver Grizzlies' John ja Morant. Um, but we've talked about uh, – This jersey specifically. Yeah. yeah and, I saw it out in the wild. And I was right, like, dude. Right. So awesome. Except until you realize, like, it's not – I would not look that great in that. <laughs> so I'm like, I I had that one too, I think, when Last Order happened, and I just went, who are you kidding? It's not, not happening. happening. Not happening. But I, I felt like it had to be mentioned again just to eventually probably ultimately cut it because I'm not doing that to myself <laughs> or other people. So uh, <laughs> you're you're rocking your Sharks gear today. Yep. I want a Sharks jersey, but I keep looking at it, and I'm like, I don't know which player. Yeah. I, I had the Thornton on here, like uh, I seriously considered it, but I, I just don't think I'm gonna pull the trigger. So, it yeah, I Thornton hear you. Thornton used man. to play uh, for the Admirals, didn't he? I he think he may have. I'm almost positive this he is the may same have, form. dude. It might be because I know he started with a uh, shit man. I have to go back to who the Admirals were Phillies two years ago, but he started his career in Boston, if I'm not mistaken. He's with I think he's with Toronto now, which sucks. Oh. Because it's like, oh, gross. You're with the yeah. Leafs. But but that would make sense because if I remember, if if it's the same Thornton I'm thinking, then he was kind of a bruiser anyway. Mm hmm. So. Yep. Uh, I I want, I one of these days I'm going to pull the trigger on a Winnipeg Jets like oh, throwback. Those are so good. I love them so much. But again, I can't settle on a player. Yeah. So, like, I, 
Shifley's great, and they just traded the one of those I got. They just traded the player to Columbus. Oh, so Lane, right? Yep. I was looking because he's 29? 29, yeah. I was looking at it, and I just, for some reason, the number 29 just doesn't ring right for me. So this is a great disappointment. Number one, it's a basketball jersey, so it's like hard to pull the trigger on a basketball. We've talked about a million times. We're yep. just I want a Hornets jersey, especially like these newer ones. They are so yes. good. They're great, dude. I am dude. not pulling – I don't even know which ball this is, but it ain't happening. I that's the rookie one and so it, the it, little little brother yeah not happening um, still <laughs> yeah and it sucks because you want you want you want a Hornets I really almost bad. call it a sweater but yeah man it it's very it I wish I wish basketball had sleeves sometimes <laughs> I do because those are great man they're amazing and he's the only player they seem to have in this gear. You can get like the throwbacks, like Muggsy Bogues, and it's like okay, you know maybe, but right. I want the new ones. Like the new ones are really good. The new ones are damn good, dude. So, and then last but not least, <laughs> I texted you about. Well, no, I'm sorry, I got two more. Uh, Mark Bavaro, I grew dude. up a Giants fan, and he, that was my dude. Yeah, the tight end, yeah, eighty nine, and I just, if I'm getting football gear, I, I just I can't see it even being. Giants, I can't see it being Mark Bavaro. <laughs> <laughs> I, if anything, if you're going obscure though, and it does have the Super Bowl patch, well, you know that was one of the reasons I it it caught my eye. I was like, yeah. that year, oh my god, like yep. that was the year. Like I lost a friend because we uh, beat. I say we, not a Giant supporter anymore, but like they beat the Niners in the uh, NFC Championship game. Yeah, I immediately called him and I said, ha ha. <laughs> It's a real asshole move. <laughs> it's so funny the shit you do when you're younger. You yeah. know what I mean? Because it that move never karma comes back around always. Oh well, somehow you, you know? know. Ever since then, like I, I a few years later, I moved over to the Vikings, and we know what's happened to them. So, uh, and then it's hard to ignore those Atlanta Hawks jerseys. They're so good. They are really, really good. Let me see if I can pin this one. So if people decide to come in. They are so good, dude. I love those Hawks. I love those Hawks get up, get ups. Any, any, I mean, we've talked about it, man. Their new stuff is so damn good. Um, it, the MLK alternates too. Those are solid. They have those up there. And I, I thought I was until again, I remembered dumbass. You're not, you're not, <laughs> you can't, you can't, uh, you know, <laughs> it'd be nice. I mean, they would never do it, but like, can we get an MLK? Can we get a hockey sweater? You know? You know, I bring feel back like the Thrashers just for that. Dude, right. You know? <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go through our one through fives here. And I, I I'm glad that you're going first because I can't decide what my number one is. I got you, bro. And I'm about to uh this is this for me as soon as I saw this was my very first lock. Um going in the Discord right now. We talked about these oh, at yeah. nauseum. Um I actually went to Fanatics. Uh, I can't remember if uh, we told the story on air or not, but I went to Fanatics when the new Ottawa Senators sweaters came out. Um, you know, obviously we talked about them here on the pod. Love them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm still not sure that they might, they might end up creeping into my top 10 at, at some point. That is a conversation I need to have internally. But I love these. I love both of them. I prefer the blacks. And I kept going to Fanatics. Because I did not know at the time, like they would instantly become available on these sites. So I was like, I drop, you know, you get a code or whatever. I drop 130 on one of those. You yeah. know what I mean? Worth it. I'd wear the hell out of it. And the only one they had though is Brady Kachuk, Keith Kachuk's kid. Mm -hmm. Because of course, you know, if you're going to people like us, if you're going to buy a sweater, you know, it'd be Kachuk seven on the back, you mm -hmm. know, for the most part. But Thomas Shabbat, their defenseman wears number 72. That's my number. And you know, I I dig them. I've got them in a fantasy league. So I was like, I I want you know seventy two on a hockey sweater is kind of bizarre. So I've always kind of liked him for that reason. And he's a good player. So I'm like, okay, if I'm going to go send sweater and I'm going to get one of these things, I want Thomas Shabbat. And I kept going to uh, Fanatics, and they actually have the new sends Thomas Shabbat in a women's sweater, but they don't have it in the dudes. Oh man. And I'm thinking like, hold on, man. Like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not paid for this type of shit, but I'm willing to bet most humans that are going here for Thomas Shabbat sweaters probably ain't women. Not likely. 
So not to say that they don't exist. Right, but if but you're going to have one, it should probably be one for dudes. One that's going to get bought. Right, because, like, come on now. So when I saw this one on uh, one of the first tiles on the homepage under hockey, I was like, okay, yes, this one for me is a fucking lock. Uh, shoot, I'm still... Do you need me to filibuster nah, some more? I got, okay. I'm, I'm, I, I'm making an executive decision. Number one. I love on-the-fly executive. Ooh, there we go. Jacob deGrom. There we 48. go. Um, I don't have any current Mets. Uh, finally, uh, sports have kind of fallen out of my had fallen out of my life for a good while. Right. Uh, this virus has kind of made it so like sports are on the radar again. Yeah. Uh, Jacob Dorgram's a great pitcher. He is, dude. I like the number forty eight. Yep. I love the Mets gear. Yep. Where am I going wrong here? I, I can actually wear baseball jerseys. <laughs> right, right. I know. You know the move I always do, man? I go baseball unbuttoned. Unless it's a pullover. Because for me, like, that's kind of the way I have to do it. <laughs> um, but I, I love, and this is going to sound really dumb. I love the way that the DeGrom looks. I love that the DE is lowercase. Lower and you, that is just so fucking cool, man. I've, I've always liked that. It makes and it stick out a little. From a, from a Phillies fan, I I love you. I hate your team, but I love your team's gear too, though. Yes, you know it's Mets gear is damn good, dude. Uh, what's funny is last year I'd lost some weight, mm. and I became button up the baseball jersey guy. Okay, and so like I haven't lost that. I put the since put the weight back on, and I haven't lost the button up the baseball jersey thing yet. <laughs> uh, eventually, that'll that'll work itself out. No, it's if if you can button. I mean, the buttons are. I'm I'm okay with them. Like I said, I'm not an anti button. I'm just not able to really pull it off very well, and that's that's where it kind of gets in the way. Um, but I I God, those look good. Just the way the Mets looks across the chest slanted mm-hmm. is so damn good, dude. Like that, you get that with you just bought the Mets hat too. Yeah, dude. That looks that's gonna look crisp, man. Yes, <laughs> that is gonna look fucking good. So this is going to be the third order that I've placed uh, and have never ordered one of my own team's jerseys <laughs> until now. I have to. Nice. They've got the reverse retros. I was like, okay, I have to have one of these. It, I, I kept debating between Carter Hart and Travis Konechny, my favorite current flyer. Has been for some time now, Travis Konechny, and still is, and they've got him as well. I just feel like, and eventually I will get a TK, but I'm like, man, I gotta, I, we haven't had a goalie in 20 fucking years, man. <laughs> I gotta, I, I gotta get my guy. Plus, again, I dig the number in the 70s. It's kind of goofy for a goalie, honestly, but, you know, I, I like it. I think it looks good. I need a reverse retro in my life, so I'm, I'm going kind of hot. I'm going to follow your lead here with a, another reverse retro. These were one of my favorites. Number 97, Carol Kaprizov. Yep. <laughs> yep. He's on my fantasy team. Yep. So that's why, like, when it came up, I was like, oh. <gasps> yeah. I have – fantasy hockey has done wonders for my hockey fandom. Like, I, I really didn't think it w- – before fantasy hockey, I wouldn't have been able to tell you anything about that sweater right there <laughs> <laughs> at all. And suddenly I know who this player is. I know who he plays for. And it's like, and man, come on. Look at the, it's the Minnesota Wild. Their reverse retros are ace. Yes. Like they are probably like, I don't remember where I ranked them, but the more I look at them, they are probably my favorite of the batch. Agree. So yeah, Kirill Kapizhov, number 97. What's funny is I had this exact one. In, in mine, but I was debating, do I go Kaprizov or I like Kevin Fiala as well? They've got – so if you go Kaprizov and I do end up going with a wild one, I probably go, will go Fiala then because I like – I don't hate anybody for the wild though. Like they got Matt Dumba, they've got Ryan Suter too, and those sweaters are just so damn good. Look at it. I mean, it, it. God, they're so good. The only beef I have is I wish they were predominantly green instead of white, but I'm being nitpicky douchebag now. I've come around on white set sweaters, so I will shut the fuck up. <laughs> Those are amazing, and I still can't get the bear head logo out of my uh, out of my head. Thank you, Joe. Since to Joe, exactly. So, <laughs> speaking of Joe, Joe posted in the Discord yesterday about these, and uh, I 
I look, man. I I don't. <laughs> We will at some point get into our opinion on the Dallas Stars and, uh-huh. and their get-ups. Their blackouts with the fluorescent green are elite. That logo, though, is still a little clunky, <laughs> even here. Let's add the state of Texas to it. <laughs> Bro, right? Like, we can't even, like, that, I would almost forgive just the regular D on that sweater because it would it would just look clean. But, and man... Why is the D not in the center of Texas? I don't understand. Like, come on, man. What are we doing? <laughs> Dallas is so close constantly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, God, these are so good. And I'm not 100% sure on this either. And the other thing is, I don't even really like Tyler Sagan. I was just like, okay, it's either him or Jamie Ben. Mm-hmm. Jamie Ben's the captain. I'll just go with the A because I had him in fantasy hockey last year and Sagan when I took over a keeper team in another league. So I'm like, I guess I'll just go him. If I get one, but I'm not even really fired up about that. You know, <laughs> the this none of this should work. Looking at this right. sweater, it shouldn't. Mm-hmm. But something about it is like, yeah, man, I can get behind this. Yeah, right. I can get behind that. I mean, I don't know if it's just the the just straight garbage. Well, I don't want to go too deep here. <laughs> one of these days, we'll have Clark on and we'll we'll trash. Dallas yeah, we will go at him about this damn stars logo, but. I, I'm not gonna lie. There's there was a couple of Dallas Stars uh, sweaters that I was looking at too. So the logo ruins it, man. It you really could, does. You could have a Mount Rushmore across sports in that thing, in that color, even the regular, the victory green. Mm-hmm. Your logo, man. <laughs> Just do something better. Anything. Right. And and it, it, putting Texas behind it is not a fix. No, it makes it worse. It's, <laughs> it's so clunky. Christ but Almighty. The colors almost make up for it. Right. I think I got to go here, number three. My guy's been on IR all season. Yeah, he's, man. He's my first and only dev that I, I got. Actually, I think he's the only dev I have on my squad right now because COVID. Yep, because the 19's getting in the way again. Uh, so I I dropped Smith like a couple days ago. I, I think I still have Palmieri. I got to go Nico Heashier because his sweaters actually up there yep. <laughs> yep number 13 um i love the number 13 same uh i would prefer a number 14 i found out we have a number 14 of course the player's name is escaping me right now okay so he's gonna be my new guy that i'm gonna be watching Hell whenever yeah. we come back in like three weeks <laughs> right right good lord um but it it was i spent a lot of time looking at all the devil's sweaters and i wanted all of them yep but Nico's my guy. hasn't played us, hasn't skated at all this year <laughs> in a month. <laughs> so we'll see. I, I he sure's a good call, man. I'll tell you this: since you went there, I'm going to bypass the one I was just going to play and come back to it. Um, I'm going to go this route, and it's one that uh, you know you're certainly familiar with. And I almost pulled the trigger last time, but it's in the conversation for me. Marty. I, I think I just might get a Marty this time, man. You know I, I love your team sweaters, always have. And I, I I think I need one of these. I think I need one, man. You know how much I love my Marty sweater. Like Hell yeah, dude. I would probably wear it every day if, right. if my wife wouldn't go. <laughs> Enough. Look at me funny. <laughs> Enough. Okay. You're I get it. You're sleeping in it too? <laughs> I get it. You like the thing. I mean as much as I love my Gretzky sweater, the Marty one's the one. It's your guy. It's your team. You it's know, like it's it's all encompassing for Justin. Right. Like, right, dude. It's it's perfection for me, and I know you've been eyeballing it since. Shoot. Yep. <laughs> since before I before last order, you were talking about getting a Marty sweater. So. I did, dude. And when, like I said, when I when I when I came in to stack of sweaters that morning at work on my desk, and the first one I immediately. The first one my eyes went to was the Marty one, and I instantly went, you could have swung another 50 bucks, motherfucker. <laughs> Why didn't you? I think I'm going to surprise you here. Okay. But I'm going to follow your lead, because you went Marty. I don't know who this player is. Okay. But he's number 14 for the Flyers. <laughs> Sean Couturier is awesome. I uh, didn't realize, like, when we did the reverse retros, I kind of meh the the flyers reverse retros yeah and then like as i'm like just kind of scrolling through of course the number 14 popped out at me I was yep. like, 
huh, let me stop and take a look. I love y'all's reverse retros. Dude, they're so great. They are really great. What it is, is in this, this really hit me because we just wore them for the first time last week. And uh, for some reason, I can't remember who the fuck we were playing. Boston. Um, It wasn't us. (laughs) (laughs) I wish it was, man, because... You know, it, Flyers Devs games are great. You guys gave us hell those couple games a couple weeks ago before the nineteen came in your life. I the key with these reverse retros for the Flyers is that it it you're going back to the burnt orange that we wore oh, so in like good. the nineties, and now we're kind of back into the the orange is more orange now mm-hmm. instead of burnt orange, and I I miss that burnt orange. It's kind of like it's a subtle thing, but it's just like the. The midnight green with the birds we yeah. talk about all the time on Grease Pole. Like, I'm tired of the fucking midnight green. Can we go back to the Kelly Greens? I feel the same way uh, about the about the burnt orange. I fucking love the burnt orange. And Sean Couturier, by the way, is not, is not a bummer of a player. He won the Selkie Trophy last year as the league's best two-way oh, player. Lord. He's fucking good, man. I mean, if I'm going to get a Flyers sweater, it might as well be my my number. Your number, yeah. And it's not it's not a dud of a player either. So for whatever that's worth, you're not going to be walking around wearing a guy that's going to be a healthy scratch. Uh, okay, I think I will play this as my next one. Um, And this was my first round pick in our fantasy hockey <laughs> draft. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it, I, I've got the Nate McKinnon reverse retro up there, the the Avs Nordiques mashup, and I, you know, man, I still look at these and I go, I wish, I wish they weren't white. I know, right? I really wish they weren't white. But the burgundy fleurs at the bottom look damn good. Uh. I, I have no complaints about it. I just have to never eat with it on if I go this route. <laughs> yeah. You know, because I, I, I love the colors, man. It's it's great to see the igloo and the floors back. I went the same thing like you thought with Heesher. I was like, you know, I got Nate McKinnon. He was my first round in the fantasy hockey draft. If I'm going to get one of these Deeks ones, why not him? I looked I looked really hard at that specific jersey for a long yeah. time. Something about the, the number 29 in those colors is really – Yes, dude. Really – drawing me in Mm -hmm. i'll ultimately you know how i feel about these sweaters right and you're not wrong they're amazing i love them i know dude and that's like (laughs) right like it it and you're right i'm like do i want to this is very fringe right now it depends on where we're at number wise like if it'd be one of those deals where if like we're at 19 and nobody else throws their hand up i'll be like yeah (laughs) <laughs> throw it in there for me you know I'll get this this fake deke sweater. Right, right i'll kid myself <laughs> whose jersey the gila fleurs <laughs> and i will walk away backwards now so you can't tell i'm full of shit <laughs> uh where are we at number four i, I believe think so. so yeah i'm going here yo ken griffey in the yo. reds number 30 uh i looked long and hard at the the m's like when he was in his prime M's, like the 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 teal, the teal. And, yeah and then i was like if i support my guy when he went to the reds and it all started falling apart i feel like i'm doing more justice plus the reds we haven't talked enough about the cincinnati reds gear on this show because we haven't i mean it's underrated because it's so simple it is man i'll have to get the brother-in-law we could I run it by him, have him come on, because he is a Reds, you know, they're Cincinnati people, but the Reds for him is like the birds for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Doesn't miss a game, you know, and this is one that I'm surprised, honestly, that that he's not on board with, that he hadn't got yet, because he's got some Red stuff, and the Reds don't have, they're another team. There's nothing bad in the wardrobe. Untrue. Except. <laughs> they did it last season. Whatever the, what, why are you writing the Reds out? Why are you the doing that? Reds. Why are you it's doing so that? Bad. Don't. It's so Just bad. Just don't. Just leave it as the C, man. It's, it's okay. Perfect. We get it, right? It's perfect the way it is. It is. There's no need to change it. And we talk, we talk all the time about um, doing weird things with the number font. Mm-hmm. They've done something weird here, but I'm way okay with it because it fits in with what they're doing. It does, and it looks nice with the black outline is a nice touch. I remember when he went there and was like, that is so fucking cool because, I mean, that's where his dad played. Yeah. And I was like, that's awesome. He's going back to where his pops played like that. I can't remember if he was traded there, if it was a free agent deal. That was a while ago. 
But I was like, this is so cool. The only thing about it that was kind of weird was watching him wear number 30. Yeah. You know, because you were so used to seeing. Or running around out there. Right. Yeah. You know, it's like, man, it feels weird. But you got used to it quick. You know, mm-hmm. when, when yeah. you see that swing up there, you're like, it doesn't. That motherfucker can wear whatever number he wants. And it like, it's, that's the kid up there, dude. I, I we, love that choice, man. If I would follow Griff anyway, like if they had Griff's uh, White Sox jersey. Yeah. Yo. I, I don't like the White Sox. We have reasons, especially now. We'll get to that yep. eventually. But uh, man, like that dude was the dude. And, yeah, and I still feel bad, like how how badly injuries just destroyed his career. I know, dude. I know it sucks, man. It's funny because the uh, guy who we've got this hookup through, my buddy Jason, is a White Sox fan. And I, you know how hard it is for me to not tell him our little secret about the White Sox. I, I feel like we have to have him on just. To yeah, break that live him. reaction. Yeah, yeah, like, dude. Hey, man. By the way, right. By the way, this happens. <laughs> Look, <laughs> like what it very much like the you'll Minnesota. Never be able, you'll never unsee. It's it. the wild logo. You can't unsee it once you see it. Um, okay, to round out my five, I this one is another one. This is the football version of the Marty Brodeur for me that I keep going back to, and I screen grab this motherfucker every time. Oh man. Um. That's a good one. We talk about the Rams uh, somewhat frequently in the Discord. Mm-hmm. They come up a lot. Their new stuff uh, seems to be a hot topic with their jizz rag <laughs> road jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is you had such an elite look in these. The Eric Dickersons, the ones they wore in the Super Bowl a couple years ago, these are as good as it gets in the NFL. Eric Dickerson was my guy. I always liked him as a kid, and I think what it came back to is because – I always thought it was cool that he wore like the goggles, you yeah, know, man. and it was it was so stupid. But I was like, "That's cool. That guy's different." Mm-hmm. And he wore the neck roll and shit, you know. And he was just big. I always liked Eric Dickerson, man. So it it I've always looked at this one and gone, "You need to just get it, even if you only wear it once or twice." It's Eric Dickerson. It'll at least look good hanging in the closet. Yeah, and this true. is this is this and Marty are the ones that I constantly go. Just do it, just do it. And I I saw it when when I was taking my first pass through because this is a first pass screen grab, and I even thought like, don't waste your time, man, because you're gonna snub it again. And I thought, no, I have to. It's not. It's, it's not. Made a, its way to top five, it, dude. It's it, so close at this point. It is, man. But I'm a dumbass, and I'm gonna end up probably going an honorable mention above this one, even though <laughs> I'm acknowledging right now. I every time I see it, I'm like. You could have got it last order. Dumb yeah. fuck. So I'm matching your energy here where it's it's made my top five and I want it really, really bad. And I love this jersey, but it's probably going to get edged out by something. Okay. It's the Valley. Yeah. Devin Booker. Look at that thing, man. I God, love the gorgeous. fact. I think my favorite thing about this, aside from the fact that just the pixelated the valley on there, uh, the sunset behind it. I love that last name in just orange. Mm-hmm. It is so good, dude. Yep, yep, so good. I don't think we noted this when we did our city edition um, conversation. The purple trim. Yeah. Oh God, that's good. It does pop for some reason here. I don't know that we noticed it either, but it looks damn good, man. And and you got that. The same purple outlines that white one, and and. I, Normally that would kind of bother me, like a just a bold color is the is the name, and then you have no reference to that color in the number. Mm-hmm. But it again, when you go back to the sun, like you guys color scheme the purple and orange, like it just it allows that Booker to pop even more as the name. Yeah, like it looks you can have that orange in the one, and it have the same effect on the Booker. It doesn't nope. work. I don't know that I'll be able to. It's basketball. <laughs> it was really hard for me to put it here. Yeah, I almost left it out of the five because I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Right, right. But I want to so bad. <laughs> I've got a Sixers City edition as well in my repertoire that will probably inevitably get bounced for the same reason. Um, and and I love that thing. I love that both our teams have among the best city editions. Oh, hands down, it, yeah. they're so good, dude. And what's funny is there's a lot that you see in practice, and that I was like okay with. Yeah. 
and now it's like ooh, like Milwaukee, Oklahoma right. City. Oh god, yeah, not dude. good. Good god, you see them in practice. It's like no, no. Utah's looks better than I thought it was gonna. <laughs> and Denver's, I really like Denver's. Yeah, Denver's is good. Denver's is good. I, I I like the the evening theme that Denver has. I guess for lack of a better term. Man, we're only at like thirty five. You want to do the next five? If if we can. We can, yeah, we and can do we'll, that. We'll drop whatever's the last I, I, five. Yeah, I'll problems. I'll go through I'll go through your basketball, or I'll go with your basketball theme here, um, and and just again, I wish that I could wear because this is just this brings me to a happy place. Um, nice, yeah, dude. Ryan Archidiacono was a key part in Villanova's first of the two most recent, you know, college basketball championships. And that was, that was pre Eagles Super Bowl. Oh yeah. So that was the second championship. Any of my teams had won in my lifetime. Like before that, all I had was the Phillies in 08 (laughs) and like that game. It was so cool, man, because at the time I was, I had that job that I was working when we were back at RFR and I was off every Tuesday. And of course the men's, you know, the national championships on a Monday night. Mm-hmm. So it was really cool because it worked out to where you boy could tie one on during the game, <laughs> you know? And it was like, okay, this is awesome. Like, I don't, I didn't know at the time this was going to happen again in a couple of years. And when Chris Jenkins hit the fucking shot, man, you know, the buzzer beater, I, like I was, I was fucking 12 again, dude. <laughs> and I am not admittedly like, huge basketball guy especially college man like mm-hmm. i love nova yeah. they're my squad but i'm not like it's not the birds or the flyers it's not not even close you're not stat guy you're you know not at just... all i'll watch the games if if i'm home and there's nothing else on and you see them in the tournament and you're like word right exactly Follow. yeah i will i will go out of my way to watch nova in the tournament you know but it was man it was so cool it was like this is you know could there weren't a whole lot of championships for you, boy, at the time. Clearly, <laughs> yeah. so it was just it was cool, man. And winning in that fashion against a team like fucking UNC, you know, a blue blood, it was like, yo, this is awesome. Yeah, uh, I'm following. You already had this one uh, in your your pre dump. Tatis Jr. in the uh, the aways. I love it. Man. These pinstripes. I love that thing. That one might squeak in. I might end up getting it. It's so good looking. It is. It really is, man. And and. You know, it, I like. It's funny because nothing the Padres have now is bad. Nothing. It's like all good. Any of them, dude. You can go with the whites, the, mm-hmm. you know, the the grays or tans, whichever color those are. The browns. I just I always go brown because I'm a you know home like a team color douchebag. But I like, <laughs> I like the fact that you have an option. And I was looking at these because if you're gonna go, again, me not really typically liking white gear. This is like a nice. Switch up, yeah. right? You know that you don't have to get the white one, and you can still have something nice to wear. That's not, you know, super team color and doo doo color, <laughs> um, especially when you reference the Padres. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with this one here. Um, I'm going to go Homer again. Yeah, Randall Cunningham, Kelly Green, and I've got, I've got, I've got a couple of these, uh, Kelly Greens at the house. I've got a couple. I've even got, I think the Cunningham white one. I think I believe the white but that Kelly one never Green. gets comes out, does it? No, because white man, yeah. like I, the white, I, I buy them just so I've bought them just so like they're there. Yeah. I can say like I've got them Look. in the arsenal, <laughs> right? But I'm not, I'm not rocking them. They're not the go to on game day, and. It, 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 it like we talked a couple weeks ago on Grease Poll about the Midnight Greens. Like I want to buy more Eagles jerseys, but I have so many Midnight Greens now, it feels pointless. Like yeah. I've got quite a few Kelly Greens, not a ton, but a couple. But for me, when I think about those Kelly Green jerseys, I always think about Randall Cunningham, yeah, and man. I don't know what that is, man. I don't know. I mean, because. Childhood. Right, like he was the quarterback. That's what I remember is, I mean, you know, Reggie White and Jerome Brown and Seth Joyner too, like, and I've got those jerseys, but there's just something when I... He's the guy. Dude, rocking Randall, man. When I I picture the Kelly Greens and I, like, act, like, reminisce about wanting us to go back to them and I talk about, like, the silver pant, how I loved it, he's, I picture him in my head. Yeah. You know, 
in in, in the get up. So that's why I was like, okay, I've got I've got to at least have this in the conversation. Your number one Yo, is my number seven. Hell yeah. And hell number yeah. seven. Man, I looked long and hard at all those Ottawa Sens, and this one might hop up the list too, because God, I Man, love these Sens good. jerseys. And I went with Kachuk, number seven. Um, there know, is nothing wrong with Kachuk. I, I, first of all, I just love the name. I love the way it looks. So great, isn't it? It looks like a hockey name. <laughs> and exactly. So it's like, yo, like I could rock that Sens jersey, and it's Kachuk. Mm-hmm. And it's number seven, which is half of my number. Right. So it's okay by me. I mean, whatever it takes. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. And it, it, you know, at that point, it just comes down to a play. And it, anytime you're wearing Keith Kachuk's kid, you know, because he's got two sons in the league now, and Brady Kachuk is fucking damn good. You know, it, it, like you said, that just looks like a hockey name, man. Something about the name Kachuk is always just, it resonates with you. Yep. <laughs> you know, everybody knows Keith Kachuk or has kind of heard of him, even if you're not mm-hmm. like a big hockey guy. You know what I mean? You see that name and you go, oh, shit, okay. I will stay with you on the ice. And uh, this is a really, really hard one to to not get constantly. Oh, man. I love those Calgary Flames, man. You know, these are the Heritage Classics that they now have as their regular, um, since they kind of went old school this year. Uh, these are now their, their Road Whites, and it's a Johnny Goudreau. I, I would prefer to have a... Uh, Keith Kachuk's other son, I would prefer to have a Matt Kachuk because mm-hmm. I've got him in fantasy. And he's also just like a professional asshole. <laughs> you know, everybody like he's no, it, no human being is hated more in Canada by that country of nice, nice people than Matt Kachuk. But I like Johnny Goudreau's, a, you know, he's a Jersey guy. You know, he grew up a Flyers fan. Same as you. I love the number 13. You know. The only thing that worries me is I think he ultimately has the same fate as Patrick Line with Winnipeg. I think they end up dealing him. Uh, but still, it's like I'm not going to not rock the sweater because they dealt him. Like, mm-hmm. you know, at this point, okay, so it becomes a de facto throwback. Like, it still looks fucking cool. Yeah, man. Like, you who know? cares? <laughs> right. I'm not, oh, I guess I'm going to retire it now. Oh, no. This awesome Calgary sweater that I have. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is now. It's garbage. Is now no good. Yeah, no. I'm still rocking the shit out of it. I'm going to stay in Canada. And uh, yo, yo, Vlad Guerrero Jr., um, Blue Jays jersey. Look, your boy be loving some baseball jerseys. I have a ton of them. These are the newer Blue Jays where they've... The Blue Jays, other than... I think we've talked about this before, where other than the Roger Clemens years, like when he first came to Toronto, I don't like those. Yeah. But ever they almost always have great gear. But I love that they have gone to a nice mesh of the new and old and this just looks great guerrero jr looks great on the back the number font is amazing it's very blue jays it is dude gotta love that blue love the bird for sure it it, dude these are awesome and i think what people our age you know should be infatuated with this blue jays team because there is so much 90s semen on it you got (laughs) vlad guerrero's son Craig Biggio's son, Dante Bichette's son. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I want to say there's like another one that just popped up. I'm so not like positive. Former Expos, too. Dude, right. Like, there's so many, and it's just like, yo, this is awesome. And by the way, they have damn top notch gear. Like, how can you go wrong with that? Again, we talked about the fonts. That Blue Jays font is as good as there is across sports. Um, this one, I, I kind of did. Because I always debate these. I always debate these. And I, I dig the reverse retros, although I think I, I like the regular ones better. But it was there, so I just grabbed it just as a just-in-case. Um, the Mitch Marner reverse retro uh, leaf sweater. I like that retro leaf there. I dig it. Um, it was kind of like, okay, do you go with Austin Matthews? Do you go... But then I thought about, I was like, okay, Rob has Austin Matthews in fantasy hockey. My brother-in-law in the last order we did, his purchase was a an Austin Matthews Toronto one. And he's not a huge hockey guy. He's just like, I just like it. It looks cool. Yeah. What's the player to get? And I was like, I mean, if you're going to, yeah, you go Austin Matthews, I think. So I was like, okay, if, if one through seven just vanish or whatever number one, one through seven, one through eight, if they all vanish – 
and I'm willing to get past my hatred of the Leafs from 20 years ago. <laughs> if I'm going to go Leafs, I'm going to go Marner. But I, I I wanted to bring those into the conversation because I do. God damn, I love those sweaters, man. I'm going to stay in Canada as well. And yeah, I love the Canadians. I love their ha- the Habs reverse retros. Uh, and number 14. And the guy's name is Suzuki. <laughs> Yo, like I'm in. Like this has everything I want. Yes. But, like we talked about Kachuk being a hockey name. Suzuki is not. <laughs> it's this not, dude. And he is he is so good too, man. Nick Suzuki. He's, I believe, uh, I think this is just his second year. But but he's really good, man. And and what kills me and and they started to kind of drive me nuts in the playoffs. Montreal did because we faced them in the first round and they were kind of pesky and you know just just annoying and just being the Habs. But they've they've got a squad, man. And we've talked about it before. I their gear is just damn good, dude. You can't beat the Habs gear. Um, I I like that call. So that is ten, I believe, for both of us. So if you want to just dump out. Like your last five, and then we'll okay. Like rapid fire them. I will throw in because I've actually been deleting a couple as I've gone <laughs> through here because I'm like, okay, this is a good opportunity. I'm going to throw this one into the conversation. Um, and more so, a lot of this is because we came up with this concept in NHL. We're still waiting on our cut. Yo, <laughs> you know. And by the way, we came up, come up with this concept because I know where you're going. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you stole the concept of our show, right? You jerks, right? Where's our money? We Just hire need, us. Exactly. Just we, hire us. We will do that for you. That's all we want. That's all we want is just just the pub, just some love. And this is if it'll post. Um, <laughs> it is. It's it's sitting at full right now. Uh, there, there we go. Okay, the reverse retro uh, Vegas Golden Knights. I went with Mark Stone. Um, I think the other one they had was Flory, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. And I was like, that's right. a good long hard look at Flory. Yeah, I was like, he's kind of older. If I'm going to go anybody, give me Stone. I was like, number 61 is kind of different. I'm probably not going to go this route. I'm probably not, but I, I felt it deserved mention because, god damn it, we came up with this. Yeah, and I at least while I was like, you know what, it's it'll stay in the conversation for me for sure. I'm dumping five in here. Okay. Uh, again, like we can just kind of rapid fire these. Oh well, it's just uploading too uh so i've got a wake forest tim duncan jersey hell yeah god man it's basketball so it's like hard but like at least this one actually stands a better chance i don't know why i have it so low um because it's kind of more filled out it is it is college basketball's a little bit bigger it doesn't look like it would really cling to you which is nice but uh i love wake forest i love those colors yeah dude I mean, how, what better than the big fundamental? Right. Uh, do you know how hard it is not to have this Steve Nash jersey <laughs> higher? I know, man. I mean, this I'm is... I'm not a Suns fan, and I love those, dude. So this is like the... These would have been throwbacks when he was wearing 13. Yep. Um, like, they, they had switched to something else whenever they drafted Amari. Yep. But, uh, like, when Chuck was there, the K, the KJs, but it's Steve Nash. So, yeah. oh, God. That is good. And the number 13, too, man. Um, I got Zach Levine. Yeah. Number eight. I love these Chicago Bulls City Editions. They were, it's funny because two of the ones you posted are in the, the ones I just made. Like, I was looking through, I was like, okay, let me just go ahead and delete some of these. This was one of the ones, and then another one of the ones you're going to get to as well. Um, or my, that Those Chicagos are so damn good. I mean, you have... Philly and Phoenix are probably the top two. Chicago is right there with them. 100%, dude. 100%. 100%. Love that theater font. Um, This Tereschenko, yep. the Blues, number 91. Yeah. This was like a very, very, very last minute cut last time. Okay. So this is like, this is going to become my Marty for you. Right. Even though right. I have no emotional attachment to the player. But I just love this. This I love the number, the way the number 91 looks here. Yeah, dude. I love the name. It's a hockey name. Yes. Uh, The Blues have... Like, I love this blue gear, like, Mm -hmm. with all the black trim. Like, this just looks like a good hockey sweater. It does. The Blues have never had anything. I shouldn't say never, because there was (laughs) was one in the 80s that was pretty ass. But the blue stuff now is awesome. They're just, you know what you're getting with the Blues, and you're never getting anything bad, except for, like, the mid-80s Bernie Federico's they had for, like, a year. Those were awful. And last but not least. Yep. Uh... Is it Eichel or Eichel? Eichel. Eichel. Number nine for the Buffalo Sabres, 
God, this is a good looking jersey. I love Dude, these. They're so good. Have you seen them Even in practice them right yet? Now. Yeah. Yeah, because no. uh, <laughs> that's right. We that's, got the 19 from they them. They infected or gave, you. <laughs> or we gave it to them. Right, either way. But uh, yes, they're missing three more games because of us, or we're missing three more <laughs> games because of them, however it works out. But yes, we've actually, I think, beat them both games. Wow. It don't, sounds don't right. Only to that, but uh, we got, we've been we've been in way more games than I thought we were going to be this this season. You guys, I looked at the standings earlier on a break, and I think you guys are like right behind Pittsburgh. I think, or maybe you're right above. I'm not positive. I can't remember off the top of my hand without looking. We were behind, um, I think, by like a point. And, and you haven't played a game in a week, though, man. Yeah. Like that's not bad. Yeah, it just it's like, man. I think by the time we get back, the, back on the ice, though, we're up against you guys who. <laughs> Forget how to skate for like two and a half periods and then, oh yeah. We're in a hockey game? We did the same thing last night against the Cats. Turning on three goals in like two two minutes. Like, oh, come on. (laughs) Both games we played you guys. Both games were identical. I was like, word, playing the Flyers tight. Yeah. I'm into this. Yeah. And then I go back, 5-3, where'd that happen? You go take a piss and like, we're down by four. What happened? (laughs) So that rounds out my, my 20, like... That Tarashenko might prop up to five. Dude, the Blues gear is as safe a pick as there is because you know you're not going to be disappointed when you get it. Right. You know what I mean? Like there, There's some that I kind of look at, like the Vegas Mark Stone. It's like, okay, maybe – like I feel like that one would be a risk. Just Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I think you got to go safe picks for the most part, and then you roll the dice with one maybe. Because, you know, I kind of look at them like, okay, they're not – Ottawa's not going to get fucked up. The Flyers no. one's pretty simple. You know, like what, you know, safe pick, Marty, you know what I mean? That's as safe as you can get. Right, man. Like, you you got to play it safe and, and you know, take a, a calculated risk as well. Um, I'm really curious to see when this order, when we place this, how these reverse retros plan out or pay out, pan yeah. out. Whatever the fuck was the one that I didn't say the first seven <laughs> times. but And not only that, but are they going to add a couple more until we ultimately place the order? You know what I mean? And it, it kills me because they have, on the website, they have a Seattle Kraken tile. Dude. And I, man, look. Get a player and I'll get one. Just expansion draft. That's all we want. Because I even for a minute thought, I know it just says Kraken and 21 on the back. I thought about it. I thought about it. Buy one. I thought about it. They're so goddamn. They're so good. It's just I. I can't do it. There's I'm no the player there. Way. It's as just soon as cracking. I'm like, who's cracking? Who is that guy? <laughs> right. Who did he ever beat? Yeah. When they have an expansion draft, whoever it is, I, I, whoever the hell they pick from the Flyers, probably unless they end up picking like a stud somewhere. There he is. You know. Uh, I think his name is Nathaniel Bastion or Nate Bastion. Yeah, Nathan Bastion, number fourteen for the Devs. Oh shit! Okay, so we got a number fourteen. Okay, he's, he's gonna a, be my guy now. He's gonna. He should be good, man. He was a high draft pick. I'm pretty sure he was. He just made his debut last year. I think he's a. I think I remember him being a bit of a pest when we were playing you guys. He's a winger, and uh, you put out a number fourteen Bastion jersey. I will buy it quick. Right, right, dude. They need to get on it, dude. I, that shit would be sweet. Bastion's another good name. I mean, I okay. So look, I've got two wilson jerseys in my team Mm -hmm. but i've never bought uh like a real the true number 14 right right man like there would be nothing like it right because you know okay this is like this is it this is the one i'm watching this motherfucker i'm not gonna buy a brad johnson vikings jersey (laughs) (laughs) like that's the other number 14 that ain't happening (laughs) right right no you made the safe pick with the wilsons man because you know what they're (laughs) You're not going anywhere as a fan. Yeah. You know? Well, I did. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, at least with the Mets. You're still with the Mets. Absolutely. I'm that I'll I'll quit baseball before I quit the Mets. I, right. They've given me enough heartbreak, but uh <laughs> man, always a blast. Hell uh, yeah, dude. If you are listening to this and aren't in the Discord, join the Discord. Legion of Stupid or ask for a link. We'll get you there. Um, seriously, like I will take your votes into account. Yes. In my same, 10. Same. Uh, if, if, if enough people vote for a certain one, it might sway it to a top five. Like that Kachuk, I'm looking at it right now. Right, dude. Had it somewhere like eight. 
It, well, and what's funny is because it will, it will sway because we're posting these in here. We're having this discussion because we're like we're hung up on yeah on these. You know what I mean? It's like okay, you you come in with a good amount, you funnel it down, but even after you funnel it down, they're still like man. I, like it'd be nice to be able to get them all, of course. Right. You know what I mean. But if I had infinite, if infinite funds. Right, right. I'd if buy money them all. wasn't, yeah, a worry necessarily. You know what I mean. Like it, you know, you can even get, you know, the, for the price we get them for. And again, if you hop in the Discord with us, you know, we need to get twenty for this order. So, you know, if you hop in and chop it up with us, we'll get you the links if you want to get in on the order with us. But you know, it's a fairly bargain price, man. But still, it's like, okay, I can't. I can't swing 13 of these. <laughs> yeah. I'd happen. like to, but I can't, you know? So otherwise I'd be getting a divorce. <laughs> Your wife's like, there's nothing but sweaters in this house. Right. <laughs> I'd have to bring them in like one by one. Oh, you know? hey, I bought this one like a couple months ago. It's just now coming yeah. in. <laughs> Why did you build a closet now in the man cave? There wasn't one before. Nothing. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. There is nothing. What was that hammering? Yeah. I why, see that sweater. Why do we suddenly have a bunch of clothes hangers around the house? Hmm? When we had none before. What are you talking about? <laughs> no idea. Nothing. No idea. Oh, God. <laughs> Bl- an absolute blast. Hell yeah, dude. I love Hell doing yeah. this. And um, seriously, if you want to play your own version of the game, ask for the link. Absolutely. In the Discord. That, the only way you're going to get it is if you're in the Discord. That's it. That's it. So, because we have to be able to, when things come in, we have to be able to get a hold of you. Yes. So, boom, do that. Join the Discord, uh, Legion of Stupid, or ask for a link. Also, hey, man, we're a pod. So, it would be super sweet if wherever you're listening to this to, you would hit subscribe. Yes. You would rate, Mm -hmm. you would comment. But the absolute best way to help us is by telling the NHL that we should be their official podcast. Right. Seriously. <laughs> hey, these guys, everything you do, they suggest like a couple weeks in advance. <laughs> so maybe pay them. How dare they? Dude. How dare they do the best gear on the ice? Right. How dare you? Right. That's our thing. Fuckers. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> and look, we're cheap. <laughs> I'm just saying, we can be bought right. relatively cheap. It doesn't take much. Sweaters and a couple bucks. That's it, man. Maybe when fans are allowed at a game again, you throw us some tickets, maybe a free hot dog, you know? I mean, look. That's it. Or, I mean, if you want to like hire us, hire us. That's it. Yo. That's it. We don't need, we're not asking for like, you know, a quarter of a million bucks here. No, nah, man, I don't need no like you know? six digit salary. Like, yeah. Yeah. Sure, that would be awesome if you can afford it. Yeah, but sure. I'm it not going to turn that down. I just want to be able to buy sweaters sometimes. <laughs> you know, that's and, it. And pay pay the mortgage. I think that if you listen to this show, uh, and I'm going to start pushing now from the Gear Freaks Hell Twitter. Yeah. Hire the Gear Freaks. Yes. Hi, uh, what, what's the hashtag? Hashtag hire the Gear Freaks. Hire Gear Freaks. Yeah. That could. Yeah. Because hire the Gear Freaks might be too much. Yeah. Hire Gear Freaks is three words. That's a good one. We'll work on it. <laughs> yeah, we'll work on it off air and we'll tweet it out and put it on the IG. Because I was trying to think of a way to to coordinate NHL in there. Yeah. Uh, Hashtag GF to NHL. No. NHL, NHL Gear Freaks. Yeah. I think that I think covers it. it. Yeah. You know, that's their league in our pod. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. That's everything we need. Right. Hashtag NHL Gear Freaks. See, Send it out. We brainstorm on the air. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to that point, uh, we were talking about the Discord earlier. If you want to listen to and participate on the show, that's how you do it. Right. We are alive on the Discord right now. You can chime in with us, be yeah. part of the conversation. The more people, the better. That I mean, the Discord, is, the Discord seems like it's been picking up again lately. It's it kind of, you know, with the NFL playoffs and everything, I think people were kind of wrapped in, okay, the weekend, we're yeah. watching games and so on and so forth, but... The Discord has been picking up again, and it is fucking awesome. Yes, and right now you'll see all those sweaters and jerseys and such that we joined, uh, that we just dropped in there. Every one of them. So do that. Do the subscribe and rate and comment. Tell the NHL that they should hire us. Damn right. Hashtag N- uh, NHL Gear Freaks, and also just tell a friend that you listen to the show. That's it. Word of mouth is the best way to spread the word of Damn the right. pod. Damn just right. Saying. Also, I'm just saying, Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Your gear sucks. How dare you we ignore hate me? You. How 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 long ago did we do the CFL episode? They keep episode? ducking us, man. How it's been How dare you? It's been a while, man. 3 4 months? 
We three? need we need to smoke them out, man. I don't know what I, they're doing. I, right. Like I can't even give us a like. That's what yeah. You or at least it not even say fuck off. <laughs> I mean something. You know? Like it it leave us on red? That's like it. anything. <laughs> Just acknowledge something. We're, We're trying coming to give you pub. You. Right. <clears throat> Whether you, know? you think it's good pub or not, it doesn't matter. It's pub. Right. We didn't make you put so much gold in your blue gear. We had nothing to do with that decision. That was your choice. That was you. We would not have done it that way. But saying, you did it that way. You can and call and explain to us why. Yeah, now we want to know why. Because, yo, also <laughs> LA Extreme, your gear sucks. Ass. And Ninja stars. If you skipped the UFL episode of this show, you're wrong. Oh, dude. Because the Florida Tuskers... <laughs> You are on that level, too. You suck. Yes, they are right there. You suck. You suck. You suck. <laughs> you know what you did. You know what you've done. <laughs> and, Corey, we're going to go broke buying these jerseys. Suckers! Suckers!